Hi, what's up YouTube? Happy New Year. It's currently January 1st, 2022. I'm gonna go out, pick up some scooters. And my goal this year for scooters, I'm gonna try and make $50,000 just picking up scooters this year. Last year, I grossed $17,526.63. Lime had put away the scooters in November. So November, December, January and February, uh, picking up scooters with Lime here in Indianapolis market was not a thing. It was not available last year. But this year, end of 2021 and starting 2022, Lime tasks have been available this entire winter so far. Now this year, it hasn't snowed this year here in Indianapolis at least. So that's a plus and it, currently right now, January 1st, it, according to my pickup truck, it's saying it's 50 degrees outside and it's raining. That, that $50,000 goal is pretty ambitious. I got a pickup truck and a trailer. Uh, the pickup truck I got is a Ford F-150, 2006 F-150. The bed is like, I think it's six and a half feet long by like, I think five feet wide or something. I don't know exactly. It's a standard pickup truck. It's actually, I think, I'm pretty sure the bed of this pickup truck is a bit smaller than a regular standard pickup truck bed, but I don't know, just cause of the side steps. And I've also got a 12 foot long utility trailer. I guess that's what they're called. Some people call them landscape trailers. I've seen people on Facebook marketplace call them a flatbed trailer. I call it a utility trailer. I think that's the most common name, but it's a trailer made by Big Tex. I bought it used off of someone for 1,200. I think I got a solid deal on it. This trailer works and uh, yeah, I built onto it. I'm probably gonna have to purchase another trailer, a second trailer. I'm thinking about getting a 14 foot long trailer, similar to this one, like a utility trailer. Uh, but I want it to be, uh, I want it to have two axles. Some people call them tandem axles, but I want it to be rated uh, for 7,000 pounds. Let's get it. Yo, it's currently 5 a.m. January 2nd, 2022. This is the first day of snow. Look at this. It's actually snowing this first time. First time this season, this winter season. So I'm gonna get to dropping off these scooters. It's currently five in the morning. Well, I'm gonna try to upload a video every month in regards to the lime, uh, lime side business. And you guys will see how much money I made over the course of the month. And I'll try to keep, I'll do my best to keep track of the expenses. It's just difficult because this truck is my only vehicle and I use this truck to get to work. I also use it to drive around with the ATM business. Um, following up with locations and uh, maintenance uh, on my on my own ATMs. And so I use this truck for everything, including moving scooters. So it's just difficult to pinpoint exactly how much fuel I use specifically for moving scooters. I also keep track of the energy bill because charging these scooters definitely takes up energy, but enough rambling. I'm off to go drop off these scooters. Three days later. I picked up these scooters and I've had these scooters on me for several days now, plugged up to the chargers. And the problem I'm having right now was too cold to charge them. It's currently 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside, which is actually warmer than what's, than what it's been the past couple of days, but it's still too cold to charge them. I got this heater turned on full blast and and it's barely warm like like i can only feel the warmth this close to the heater it's ridiculous my four amp chargers aren't charging these scooters if they would be charging those lights would be red and the two amp chargers aren't charging the scooters because if so those lights would be red too and they're all green <sighs> Well, I'm gonna try to let them sit for a few hours and check back on them. But from my understanding, most of these are at 0%. Let's check the app. Yeah, a lot of these are at 0 or 1%.
0.96%. And then two retrieve tasks. And I've emailed uh, the manager, I guess, for the Indianapolis location. And uh, he, I, I've, I've told him about what's going on. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to just take all these back to the uh, Lime Hub and uh, drop them off. And he said he would compensate me. But the amount he's going to compensate me is like a dollar less than what these scooters are paying out at. Two hours later. None of these scooters are charging, man. It's still too cold, I guess. What the fuck? 38 degrees. Still, all these scooters are very low, zero or one percent, or there's a couple that's nine or six. But I've been messaging with the manager guy here in Indianapolis, the Lime guy, I guess. He's a manager or something like that. And I've been emailing him, let him know, and He's just like, hey, go ahead, uh, return these uh, and compensate you. He's like, okay. So that's what I'm about to go do. I'm about to unplug all these and go drop them off at the line base. Hopefully I do get compensated. He told me I was going to get compensated four bucks per scooter. $5.50, $5.75. Damn, bro. And then $4.50 for the retrieve task. But... Hey, good thing is I'll be dropping them all off at one location. So I ain't tripping too bad, but I kind of am tripping because I would have made more. You tripping, bro. You tripping. <laughs> but oh well, let me get these all unplugged and get to dropping these off at the lawn base. All right, let's go over the money. In the month of January, I was able to gross $357.50. Now, that was the entire month of January. I didn't go that hard in January. All right, it started to get cold. Like, as you saw in the video, it started to snow some days. And so, I made up a rule. If it's not at least above 45 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer during the entire night, I'm not going to pick up scooters to charge. These scooters will not charge if it's too cold outside. According to Lime, they won't charge if it's 32 degrees Fahrenheit or colder, but I just went a step up and won't charge them if they're, I won't even touch them if they're above 45 or 40 degrees. I don't know. Some, some days I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit. I just played it safe this month. Yeah, I just want to point out that Lime did compensate me for dealing with that bullshit of the scooters not charging i was communicating with the lime uh su support supposedly this guy is a lime fleet manager for indianapolis i've never met this guy so i guess he would be considered my boss but i don't know i've never talked to him in person but i'm glad he compensated me for uh that that bullshit <laughs> i dealt with so that's the gross earnings and here are the expenses the energy bill for the month came out to a total of 106 dollars and 11 cents however this is kind of a difficult expense to track because this billing period was from december 17th to january 20th 2022 and so it wasn't even the entire month of january about half of december and half of january is what this bill is counting if that makes sense also for the energy bill i want to point out that this is the energy bill to my house i live in my house and i also got solar panels that being said 100 percent of the energy bill was not used just to charge scooters so I'm only going to allocate 50% of the energy bill towards charging the scooters, which I believe is conservative. As far as gas for my pickup truck goes, I spent a total of $105.94. The way I calculated this, since I did not pick up scooters every single day of January, so anytime I got paid out by Lime and I happened to be fueling around that time, then I'll uh, use that money I spent on fuel and put it towards this expense and that's how i calculated this gas expense for my pickup truck but since i do use this pickup truck to drive me to work and also drive uh for the atm business i believe it is more fair and accurate to allocate only 50 percent of the total fuel expense for the scooter business since i am using that truck for other reasons uh, besides the scooter business and so total fuel consumption comes out to $52.97. So basically every time I calculate the energy bill and fuel for my pickup truck, I will be dividing them by half every single month from here on out.
bringing this month's total expense to $106.03. Now if we take that number, subtract it from our total gross number of $357.50, we get a net profit of $251.47 this month. The month of January 2022, baby. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, man, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be trying to upload a video every month over the scooter business. I'm trying to gross $50,000 like I said in the beginning of this video. So if you want to see my journey this year, 2022, trying to gross $50,000 only picking up scooters, be sure to follow me, man. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Yo. This is me, my name is Noob Ernie I wanna tell it all that I really suck at rapping I know I do, you can tell by my voice I really suck, yeah